Whoa, how sick is this? Firefly sent me a Whoopstar charger. I sent a message to them a while ago asking them if they'd send me one of these to review and it took a while to get here, but here it is. I haven't made a video in a while, but this little care package here has me dusting the old baby off so that we can get something recorded, put it up on the YouTube for the first time in a while. Let's do an unboxing, shall we? First things first, I am gonna clean this desk just like that. Man, I am so excited for this because I have been wanting or needing a uh, charger for my 1S Whoop batteries that is capable of discharging for a long time. I got a couple of friends, a couple of buddies online that already have these and swear by them. I'm really excited to get into it because I'm uh, tired of having to discharge all my batteries by flying them all to death. This is a much better method. Oof. Feels like a nice piece of kit right here. We've got heat sinks abound. Got another one right in there. Looks like we can power it off of XT60 or DC plug. It's like it comes with a USB-C. Maybe it has firmware updates. Looks like we've got the two standard types of connectors for the Tiny Whoops these days. I forget exactly what they're called. I don't know if you can hear it in my voice, but I'm a little bit sick. I've been sick for like the better part of like two months. It's part of the reason why I haven't released any videos. <coughs> it looks like, oh yeah, we've got a switch down here to set whether or not you're doing your battery to full or to storage. You got a sick peel coming right here. Check this out. Oh uh, yeah. So I think these are the BT connectors or the PH connectors. Is that right? If I'm wrong, correct me in the comments or I'll put it on screen. Input connector, XT60 or DC or USB-C. You can um, charge off of USB. Input voltage range is seven volt to 21 volt. You can go up to a 5S battery, not a 6S battery. Good to no or 9 volt to 12 volt USB-C. Max input power, 30 watts. That's actually cool because that's the exact spec for this boy that I have here. This is what I use to charge my DJI Mini 3. It is a 30 watt USB-C PD charger. So uh, let's get this thing plugged in and power it up. Watch me pop it right here. Booting, charge, ready. Should we throw some batteries on her or what? Beauty of this is if I throw some batteries on, I don't even have to fly them all. Because if you're like me, you compulsively charge way too many whoop batteries. And now this way, you can charge 10 batteries and only fly six. Maybe I'm the only one that has this problem. But you see, I have, look at this. I don't know if you can see this, but this perfectly solves this problem. This battery has been sitting here charged for like a week. <laughs> Maybe what I should do real quick is put this bad boy to storage. Oh, that's cool. You see it change on screen, charge, stow charge. And I'll go ahead and balance these batteries or storage charge all of them. If you press this button here, it changes the amperage that you charge with and you get to choose between 0.2 and 0.9. I got a full rack of bats here, so I'm gonna go ahead and put it to 0.9 and hold the start stop button. There we go. <laughs> I put that on and said, okay. Oh yeah, that means that it's done. <laughs> That's a fun way to say that. Okay. <laughs> That's awesome. Let me grab the next bat. Is it just as easy as pulling them out? And as long as the operation's still going, can I just plug this one in? Is that dangerous? So orange must mean in progress and red must mean close. But this one's orange too. What does red mean? So I was just reading over the instructions here um, to see what the colors might mean. And it says something important down here. Well, first it says something important up here is that the USB-C input only supports USB power over PD or QC protocol. I don't know what QC is, maybe quick charge. But uh, the thing that I was referring to that's important to know is that batteries that support PH2 and B2 
but in the same group ports can be plugged in at the same time. So you can't use the top ports and the side ports at the same time. I don't know what will happen when you do, but don't try me. The LED light states is red is uh, red LED on is charging. Red flashing is about to be fully charged. Yellow LED on is discharging. Yellow LED flashing is about to finish discharging. Okay, that's awesome. So that means that these ones are going up. This one's going up to storage voltage. And these ones are coming down to storage voltage. Just reading through the instructions here to see if there's anything super important. Don't leave it in the sun, that's good advice. Don't get it wet, that's good advice. Remove the batteries after they've been charged, that's good advice. You leave a battery on the charger, it will kill it over time. I'm gonna do a quick test of how long it takes to storage charge a fully charged battery, and then how long it takes to charge to full a storage charged battery. And I'll tell you the results when I get them. Oh my god, I'm such an idiot. And this is called, I've been calling it the Whoop Star. It is the Whoop Store. Like, get it? Like, Whoop Storage? Like, it's like it's unique, awesome fun function. Getting Whoop batteries to storage? It's good stuff. V Fly, Fi Fly. All right, all right. If you can see that there, we got OKs across the board, which means that we have successfully balanced the six batteries that I put in here. It took a little over an hour to storage charge those batteries. So hopefully when you go to storage charge, all you have is six because that did take quite a while. Let's see how long it takes to charge them up. All right, you guys see it here. We got all OKs on the board. <clears throat> six 1S batteries fully charged, ready to fly, and it took about 30 minutes, but it hovered at around 4.30, um, even as early as 20 minutes. So if you're impatient like me, you're going to be picking those bats at about 4.3, and uh, you won't ever make it to the full half an hour. But uh, all things considered, that's not bad at all. Okay, so the thing that I am most curious about with this charger now, doing a quick assessment on it and being pretty happy with the way things work, what I'm really wondering is realistically, how many 1S packs can I get out of 2200 5S? It's going to take me a little while to do this test, so... Oh, the gas station burrito is a bad choice. So I just checked this battery here and it's at 4.19 per cell. I'll go ahead and write that down and get it charging. And in the meantime, I'm gonna play my favorite sim, Grand Theft Auto 5. So my biggest thing that I am noticing about this charger as I'm using it is that it sits at 4.35 here for like a really long time. So I have an inkling, like I said before, that I'm gonna be yanking batteries off of this at 4.35. And I wonder if the time that I gave before for it charging is even like an honest or a real world time because I'm gonna be pulling these off the charger before they're done. And look, as soon as I start to say it, as soon as I start to talk about it, they start popping OKs over here. Let's see if we, oh, nice, we got another one on camera. That's pretty cool. But yeah, like I said, I say that it takes about a half an hour to charge, but realistically, it sits at 4.35 for like a long time, like over five minutes. So you can probably cut that time down a little bit. All right, so we're getting OKs across the board from this puppy. So 2200 Ma 5S battery was able to charge six of these to full, and it only brought it down to 4.09 per cell. Somebody explain to me in the comments how that works because actually it's embarrassing how little I understand about voltage and milliamperage and batteries and stuff. I think that's actually going to put a cap on this video because if I used this to see how many six battery charge ups I can get out of it, I think I'd be sitting here all night. I uh, will bring this to a race in the future and charge off one of these packs until I can spend it. But uh, I think that if I try to do that here tonight, um, this video is never going to get made. So take that as a big positive. 
So there you have it, the ViFly or the VFly Whoopstar 1S battery charger. It's a well-constructed piece of kit. It looks like you can bang it around in your bag. I'm a little concerned about the fact that it's all open sides for that reason. But uh, like all of my other Whoop stuff, I'm gonna 3D print some nifty cases so that I can bring it all together in one piece. And uh, this is going straight in the kit bag. It will come with me to all of my races in the future. And when I'm at home, just casually trying to whip the tiny whoop around the house, I don't necessarily have to fly every single battery that I charge when I get bored or when I realize that I have been ignoring in real life for drone flying for too long and have to put it down immediately. Everyone goes through that, right? Right? That's why you're here? <laughs> That's what this is for, right? <laughs> to cure my ADHD? Come on. I'm gonna take it as a big positive that Bfly or Byfly sent this to me and give them a big thank you, a big shout out. I highly recommend this product so far. If I don't recommend it, then I will take this video down and none of you will ever see it. So if it's still up, then I still recommend it. Get yours wherever they sell the drone stuff that you like. Uh, stay up, stay flying, keep your karma up to ward off the bad luck. We'll see you in the next video. See that light.